Hello, good morning and welcome to a, another video. A little hot and sweaty because I've just been packing all my stuff up. Uh, today is Saturday the 13th of February 2021. Uh, we're into uh, the third week, two full weeks now. We're into the third week of uh, cold, cold weather. Temperatures below zero. We've not had a day above freezing now for over two weeks. Uh, ice is really starting to accumulate in many, many places. And we've had some great lake effect snow, especially yesterday. And unfortunately, I never took my camera with me because I was at work, but Burlington, uh, the Burlington Skyway and Stony Creek and parts of Hamilton got hammered. Uh, this was, I'll show you a picture now quickly. This is my car uh, yesterday uh, at work when I finished. As you can see, there's a whole load of snow on the back. And uh, this is what the drive into work was like and coming out. This is how busy the Skyway was. It was completely jammed trying to get into Hamilton due to wide out conditions. Anyway, uh, fast forward uh, to another day, which is today. Uh, the snow squalls have fired up again. Uh, but today, uh, they're kind of slightly further south at the moment, which is what we're going to try and hit because it is in our Niagara region. So I'm heading over towards Lake Ontario, uh, somewhere between Niagara on the Lake and Grimsby. We may go to a couple of uh, places. As you can see by the radar right now, which I'll just put up for you here. Uh, we've got a few nice uh, bands of snow, uh, lake effect snow coming off Lake Ontario. There's also a band coming off of Lake Erie. So we're going to start off um, over at Lake Ontario and we'll make our way back over to uh, our usual spot here at Crystal Beach uh, for later on in the day. So uh, come on, join me. Let's go and find some active weather in our region. My name is Nigel Hay. The channel is Nigel's Cheat Vlogs. And today we're doing a weather vlog. Just pulled up here in St. Catharines. I'm looking at this little blue spot here. I'll just put it up on the map here. This is what I'm interested in. This could be, it looks like it could be quite um, a heavy band of snow. So we're gonna head down into Port Dalhousie and have a look down there and see what we can see. It's kind of mixed match right now. The snow squalls are coming one way and there's also a band of snow coming the other way. So I'm torn between where to go right now. So anyway, we're just gonna keep following the snow and see what we can come up with. The, the water's pretty calm at the moment, but as you can see, uh, just over here, the sky is a little darker, so there is some snow squall lines just out over Lake Ontario right now. And uh, we're going to make our way down the coast a little bit uh, towards Grimsby area, where it's meant to have intensified quite a bit. Uh, radar was showing uh, a streamer coming in. I don't know if it's actually arriving now, but it is starting to snow here. So we'll give it a few minutes and maybe we'll get into it. If not, we're going to start driving down that way where it is a lot darker. Um, the sun is out behind me, just barely peeking out the tree there. Um, but there is a system approaching on Lake Erie. Also, with a couple of guys, uh, storm spotters from the region. Hey, how's it going? How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> one looks like a member of the IRA. Uh, <laughs> the other one, I, I love the glass. I love the mask. I love, I love the eye shades, man. <laughs> We're going skiing today. <laughs> All right, it wasn't much happening in Port Dalhousie, so we're going to head out <coughs> uh, further north. I'm going to uh, check out Jordan. Let's see if we get lucky down there. It's a lot darker down that way, so fingers crossed we're getting some nice heavy snow as we get closer to Jordan. As we were driving, I just had to stop off here. Uh, we're just on the side of the uh, North Shore, uh, sorry, um, the North Service Road. And uh, there's like a beach here. Uh, sheer drop down, it's a good, uh, what, 50 feet, 60 feet drop? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And like, nice chunks of ice just building on the lake here. And the waves give that uh, feeling like you're actually by the, uh, the ocean here. So it's really, really nice right now. Kind of like that. This big rock just swishing around down here. Try and zoom into it. Ooh, that's nice.
Right, as we get closer to Grimsby, uh, starting to see a lot more snow on the road now. So we're definitely getting closer to the snow bands and the squalls. But we're just waiting to find those big, fat, fluffy flakes. And uh, once we get them, then job's done. That's what we're after, the big, fat flakes. Now, one of the good things I like about storm chasing is you get to drive through some nice neighborhoods and roads that you don't usually travel on. So this is just off the QEW. Some nice houses along here. That's nice. So I'm on Lake Street here in Grimsby. And uh, this is rather nice down here. I like this. A, a mixture of old and new put together. Uh, very nice. We're at the uh, Elizabeth Street Pump House at the 40 Mile Creek Gardens Park, something like that. So anyway, uh, down right by Lake Ontario, here in Grimsby, we've got some nice waves out here, really nice waves. Uh, lots of ice, we can't really go out there because it's unsafe, but I'm going to try and get you a shot of the waves coming in because it looks really, really nice down here. we definitely got some more snow in this area as well. Um, that lane looks very cold with all those broken bits of ice upon it. Tell you what, this is actually really cool to watch. Just uh, watching the waves uh, roll and break in. And the sound's fascinating. It's like thousands and thousands and thousands of pieces of ice just floating on top of the lake, all broken up. Uh, a lot of them in circular shapes. Uh, rather, rather neat to look at, like discs on the lake. Uh, the wind's really picking up, so it's now really creating bigger waves now, which is really, really neat to see. I'm just checking out Twitter and a few other places. Uh, snow squall warnings for uh, St. Catharines, Lincoln and Beamsville, Grimsby have now ended. But they're still in effect for Stony Creek, Burlington and Dundas in Hamilton where they're just getting pommeled. But it's kind of out of my Niagara region where I like to cover so I don't know whether to go down there or not. Um, Burlington's not too far away. You know what, I'm not going to answer the uh, Burlington Skyway. I might go down as far as that. Uh, but here at Grimsby at Casablanca, it is uh, very, very light snow and not much happening. I was really hoping to catch some uh, snow squalls here, but they seem to be uh, staying very narrow band just by the, uh, like it was yesterday, right by the Skyway. Wide out conditions. Um, I've got the time lapse still going. Uh, actually, I can actually see better through my camera than I can see through my windshield, which is kind of odd.
<laughs> well, although we've made it into Burlington, and there's a lot of snow here, a lot. Uh, we're down by the waterfront here in Burlington. We're gonna walk over to the pier, and as you can tell by my feet, we're like really, <laughs> yeah, it's whoa, <laughs> it's deep here. I'm telling you, wow, there's a uh, it's up to my knees. I just, there's a lot of people walking around enjoying this. They're like us, really. Myself in quite a bit of snow here, up to my knees, as you can tell. Look, <laughs> and I'm on the pier, and uh, yeah, a lot of snow. Seriously, now the waves are crashing down here, which is nice to see. Have a look at these waves. Look at that, ah, this is beautiful out here. All right, come on, zoom in. Oh. It's actually a very nice town, Burlington. Uh, one of those places I've definitely got to visit in the summer. Um, this, this, they host a big barbecue down here, uh, Rib Fest, and they also have a big music festival down here in the summer, which is very, very popular with big acts that come down. But of course, it was cancelled last year due to COVID, and it's probably cancelled this year. But hopefully, the year after, it'll come back. Now, I like this. This is kind of neat. A Canadian sailor. History. Even though I'm doing a weather vlog, I also like checking out history. So stuff like this, I'll be checking out again in the future, no doubt. But anyway, we're gonna keep walking along this promenade. Uh, the waves are crashing up. Oh my lord! I think snow just fell into my boot. Oh! Look at that! Oh! Oh! Get out! Get out! Get out of my shoe! <laughs> oh no! No! Oh, it's gone in my boot. <laughs> my heel's cold. Look at that. Yeah. All right, we're down on the uh, promenade here in Burlington, on the uh, north shoreline of Lake Ontario. Uh, nice and cased in ice, as you can see. Uh, windy, snowy, icy. The lake's choppy, it's angry. And uh, getting some good waves out here as well. This is going to be a great place to come back in the summer and get some nice uh, footage of thunderstorms. Nice. <laughs> that was well worth waiting for that one. <laughs> Those who wait get the actual shot, right? <laughs> Look at me in the snow. <laughs> oh, I want to get on. <laughs> oh, wow! Whoa! Gee, got me. <laughs> that was close. <laughs> wow. <laughs> right. Oh. Nice. It's totally nice. I can, I, I can feel it. I think I'm, I'm encrusted in ice again. 
So we just checked the weather and it's uh, currently minus seven here in Burlington. Wind chill making it feel like minus 12 and they're still under a snow squall warning. As you can see, the snow is still falling on us. Uh, the most of the intense squall line is still out there. About half a kilometer away. If it just moves slightly over here, we're gonna get hammered. But now I jump back in the vehicle and head back over that way to the Skyway and uh, get some video footage of over there. is uh, blowing riding off Lake Ontario riding towards Hamilton directly in that line would be the uh, north end of Hamilton because Burlington is just over there uh, but the winds are very strong now off the lake as you can hear <laughs> not very pretty at all it's like really really gusty now Alright, we didn't get to see the big thick uh, fluffy flakes that's out, that I was anticipating. Uh, however, we did make it into Burlington. We saw the snow squall line uh, where it was ending and the deep snow. But unfortunately, the big thick snow, uh, heavy blobs, uh, we didn't get to see. Uh, though, it was worth going to Burlington to check out the waterfront. Uh, the way it was, the deep snow, the ice, very picturesque. I look forward to going back there. So... Um, Overall, it was a good day. Enjoyed it. Enjoyed being out. Got to see a few things I'd never seen before. Went to a few places once again to explore. This is interesting. Getting close to the ship right here. Getting really close. <laughs> Permission to come aboard! Uh. Hi! Yo, this is so cool. Oh my <laughs> lord, this is fucking awesome. God, look at Whoa! Oh, hold on. Nigel's back. <sighs> oh yeah. We're up here with uh, doing some storm chasing with Bill and Nigel. Alright. I'll, I'll send you guys some photos. Been here many times before, making a couple of videos down here. And now, we've all been frozen. Sorry, I, I'm just photobobbing your pictures again. I'm sorry. Uh, tourist. So, look, I got to get really close to the ship. <laughs> so, Le Grand Hermain, Le Grand Hermain, been here for a couple, about three decades now. She's in uh, pretty rough shape. Uh, but yeah. Get really close to it. I'm out of the wind here, which is really nice. I just did a live feed and the wind was blowing like crazy. So I'll come on this side now and uh... Oh shit, I hear ice. <laughs> oh shit, I hear ice. <laughs> oh my God, that was actually quite creepy. Okay, I didn't like that. <laughs> My God! I know it's not that deep there, but shit, that was like really weird. <laughs> <laughs> 